Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Want to take a little bit of time to show you a new trailer that we just got in. It's a 190 BHX, and it's an Explorer by Riverside RV. It's got a lot of good features on it that I think you can take advantage of when you're out there camping, seeing this great country of ours. We'll start off here in the front. <clears throat> Right here in the front, you have your power jack right here, okay, which you have a light right here. So if you're docking at night, you're going to be able to see when you're going to hook up or unhook. You just turn it off right there. Then here you can raise or lower your jack in order to get it to the height, in order to get it off of the truck for you. It's a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball on the trailer itself. Back right here, you have two 20-pound LP bottles, which do have the nice thing about the 20-pound bottles is you're going to be able to pick them up and take them and refill them, say, at Walmart or at your local gas station, do an exchange, whatever it is. Okay, then up here in the front landing area here, you have a place for your battery right here. So that way you can hook up and you can see this is where your LP runs back into the trailer. So that way you can run your stove. You can also run your refrigerator off of the LP as well too. And then you do have a 20,000 BTU furnace on the coach. So that way you can heat up your coach. We'll come on around here to the side. You can see you have a nice radius front, so that way it's going to help the airflow when you're going down the road and you're towing. It's going to give a nice airflow. You're not going to have just a straight block right there, which is going to give you more wind resistance. This will make it a little bit more aerodynamic for you. On your total height, your 10-foot total height, and that does include the air conditioner for you. Then we come around here on the side. Here you have your storage compartment. You'll notice there's these little magnets right here, and then there's a magnet on the trailer itself. So you just take and stick that up there, and then that way it'll hold up for you. If you take a look in there, look at all of the storage that you have in there. When you're out camping, you can put your chairs in there, your fishing poles, your firewood, any kinds of things that you need in order to go out and enjoy the camper itself. You've got plenty of storage right there, so you can take everything with you that you need. This here, is a total of 21 foot 10 inches long from the front of the bumper from the front of the hitch to the back of the bumper you also notice on the top you have a tpo roof which does have a 12-year warranty on there for you and you do have there's your air vent for your bathroom right there if mr cameraman can get the camera to go up top you'll see there you have your 13.5 air conditioner up on the top as well too and then you do have your tv antenna then here we'll come on back down to earth here here you have your window, which does have a nice slider window, so that way you can get some airflow. This is your emergency exit, so this window will pop out here for you, and that way you'll be able to exit the coach. Here you have your black water tank flush. What the black water tank flush does for you is you take your water hose, you hook it up to here, you open your black water tank, it has little sprayers on the inside, so that way it'll go in and you won't get any false readings. Then here you have your fresh water connection right here. This is your gravity fill, which you have 36 gallons of fresh water on this coach, even though it's a 19 foot. You have 32 gallons of gray and then 17 gallons of black. Okay, the fresh water is your potable water, the water that you can drink, that you use to come out of your sinks, come out of your shower. Your gray water is the drains that come out of the shower and come out of the sinks then for you. And your black water is from the stool itself. Here you also have your city water connection. So if you get to the campsite and you're not dry camping, you just take the hose, hook it up here, and that way you're not going to be using your fresh water tank. It'll just run right off of the city water connection itself. Nice thing on this, if you want to go out and you want to get out in the adventure, maybe get off the beaten path, you do have an adapter right here, which you can hook up a solar charger. It is a 10 amp solar charger. So that way it'll run your lights for you. It's not going to be able to run your air conditioner or your microwave, but you will be able to run your lights right off of the solar panel itself. Then here, you have for your cable connection. So if you're at the park and they offer cable, you can just hook up right here. Down there, you'll see you have, that's where your dumps are for your gray and your black. You always want to dump your black first and then dump your gray. So that way you can get a good clean, clean out of the, of the tank of the drain itself. You do have the power, not the power jacks, but you have the crank down jacks right here. You have two in the back and you also have two in the front. What we use around here is we just get a little bit we have a hand drill and we just hook it up right there and then that way it'll take down your jacks for you up and down and just with put simple push of a button here you do have your back bumper and you have these here which will pop off so that way you can put your sewer hose right here in the back so that we don't have to put it into the storage area you do have the spare tire all of the tires these are 15 inch tires and they do come with the aluminum rims the aluminum rims are going to give you the smoother ride so that way when you're going down the road 
up on the roof, you'll notice that the roof itself is a radius roof. So that way, what's the advantage to that? If you have a flat roof and it rains or whatever it may be, the rain will just sit onto the top. When you have the radius roof, it's gonna allow the water to run off. You also notice you have your drains right here and it'll take the water and take it away from your trailer. So that way you don't get the black streaks down the trailer. You can see it's got one on the back here and one on the front and you have them on both sides of the trailer itself. Here's where you have your backup camera. What you can do with that is you just hook that up there and then you've got a monitor inside your truck so that way when you're backing up you can come back here and you can see what's going on so that way you don't run into anything makes it a little bit easier to get into your campsite when you're going out camping here you have your outside shower which does offer you the hot and the cold nice thing on this if the kids go out and they're out playing around in the beach or they're out just playing around in the woods just discovering the country out there you can come out here and spray everything off place if you want to clean your fish or whatever it is if you go fishing you can do it right there as well here you do have your led lights in the back and then here's where you would put your license plate and you do have the light right here for your license plate as well so we'll come on around to the side here's where you have your six gallon gas electric water heater so that'll run off of the gas or the electric the gas will heat up a little bit quicker for you than what the electric would but the electric will still get your hot water hot for you here in this compartment here again your magnetic catch and then here this is a nice little area here this is for your outside grill and what you notice that it is underneath your awning for you so this outside grill you just take here you pull it out here get it to fully extended you take this here and you just hook this up right here and then you have your outside griddle so that way if you're cooking hamburgers hot dogs whatever it may be in order to feed the kids you can do it right there here's where you light it and then you can set the temperature right here for you as well again there's your 15 inch rims right there here you do have some outside plugs so that way if you want to plug in some lights like some awning lights or if you want to do a radio or whatever it may be that you want to plug in excuse me you can do it right there here you do have a 20,000 BTU furnace for you now this awning let me show you what it looks like when it comes out you just have a little button right there and if it has been raining which it has been here just know if you stand here like I do you might get a little bit of water runoff onto you okay we're not going to be able to open it all the way up because we got a little too close to our wall but you can see that this way this awning will come out it's an 11 foot awning and you do have the LED light strip right here to give you some lighting when you're sitting at the end of the day sitting around a campfire saying hey look at all the good stuff that we saw and the great memories that we have created for our family that will allow you to do that here you have the windows for the top bunk and then a window for the bottom bunk and you do have the slider windows so that we can get some airflow if it's not too hot and you don't want to turn on the air conditioning then you have your outside speakers which you have on your stereo on the inside so you can sit out here listen to some relaxing music and just sit and talk and again enjoy the family that's what RVing is all about enjoying the family and creating memories for you and your family this is the other side of the outside storage so you got access to it on both sides and again look how big that storage is on there on the outside you can get a lot of stuff in there for just a little 19 foot trailer then here we have our entrance door and then here you have the screen door as well too which has the real nice slide here so that way when you have just the screen open you can prevent the bugs from coming in and out this particular trailer here weighs 3,555 pounds so it's going to be very easy for you to haul you can haul with just about any vehicle you got 440 pounds of hitch weight on the front too so you don't need a big massive truck or whatever you can just get a small little suv and you can pull this and go around and see the country you got your two steps which are coming in which those do fold in to get out of your way when you're traveling okay you do have the asdell backer the asdell backer is going to prevent the coach from delaminating this is a fully laminated coach on both sides of the coach for you so that asdell backer will not allow the moisture to get in there and that's where you used to have the phylon backer is where you'd get the moisture in there and then that would start to expand and then cause delamination the asdell prevents that from happening plus it's environmentally nice it's green as they say so come on in right here is your command center this is the button that we used in order to put the awning in and out right here this is where you turn your awning lights on and off right there and then here you can have where you can just turn on your two interior lights for when you're just coming in and you want to get some light here's where you want to switch the hot water heater that we talked about here we can turn it on to the gas if you want to run it off the gas side 
where you can run it off of your electric side there. This is the water pump. You're going to use the water pump if you're dry camping. So if you're dry camping and that's the way it's going to get the water to come out of the fresh water tank and go through the whole coach. If you're on the city water connection, you don't need to turn this on. Here's your monitor panel. This will tell you your battery levels were plugged in so it'll give us a full battery. It's your fresh water tank here, your black water tank, your gray water, and then this will tell you the level that's in the galley, which the galley is the kitchen area. So if we come in, we'll come in here right to the kitchen. Got everything that you would normally have at home too, okay? You have your little cooktop cover, which does serve as the backsplash with three burner cooktop, which is an automatic light on it for you too as well. You just push the button and it'll light it. You do have your oven down here, which you do have to light the pilot light on that. Okay, but that way you can cook a, uh, cook a pizza or whatever it may be and do it in there. Here you have the microwave. So that way if you want to do some popcorn and just reheat something, you can do it right there. Here you have some storage for you. Here you have your sink with your hot and your cold side. So that way if you want to do the dishes or just clean up, you can do it right there. Some more storage underneath. So we can put some stuff on there. That is your furnace right there for you. And then here you have your dinette. Okay, so if we're looking around here just as an initial look up, right? You can sleep two here. This will break down in order to make a bed for one, maybe two kids. And then you do have the bunks here, which what I like to point out on this is, look, you have a light for each bunk. Okay, so that way the kids can have it there. And then again, you do have the window right there, which will slide open so that way they can get some airflow for you. Now on this dinette, some other places for some storage. You can just take this cushion off and this bottom cushion off here. And then down here, whoop, this is where you have some more storage. So you can put some more things in there, little knickknacks or whatever it may be that you're gonna need. Then see these little things right here? This is what you do when you take that table down. You set it on there and then you use these cushions in order to make the bed area right there. Here's where you have the nightshades. So the advantage to the nightshades is if you want to sleep in maybe just a little bit or before sunrise, you pull those down and that way it'll block out the sun and then you just push them up and it'll allow it to come open there for you. So that way you can allow the sunlight in. Again, the nice big slider window. And again there, remember I told you that's where the emergency exit is. In the front to give it a nice, you have the ship lap right there in the front to give it a nice clean look. Back there behind the bed, if Mr. Cameraman can show you, you have the plug in back there in the back so that way if you want to charge your phones or just get on the phones put a tv maybe watch it on your phone here you have some place for some hanging here's where you also have your bedspread right there and then up top you also notice that you have a little shelving area here that you can put some more things in okay then up here you have some storage here you have some more storage here this is your am fm radio and you can set it up and you can also run uh, the Bluetooth right off of this as well, too. And that way you can set it up. If, say, somebody's in here sleeping and you still want to sit out on the campsite, you can have to just shut off the interior speakers and just have the exterior speakers play for you. Here you have some more plug-ins right here. So you got one, two plug-ins right there. Okay. And then you have a light here. You have two more plug-ins right there. Okay. We already showed you the storage here. This is where you control your air conditioner. Remember, you got a 13.5 air conditioner, which has a direct airflow system. You just turn on, and then that'll take the air through the front or to the back of the coach. Either way, you set the temperature here as to what you want it at right there. Or if you want to just run the fan, you can do that as well. You do have the nightshades here for both of the kids' um, bedding area. You have your gas electric refrigerator right here. You look here this is where you can control it on the electric or the gas side this is where you turn it off and on right here and then you can either run off the gas or you can run off of the auto since we don't have any gas in it currently it's just going to automatically start running off of the electric side for us so you don't have to worry about it leave it on auto you get to your campsite if you have some lp in there then it'll run off of the lp for you okay and then back you know right there is your fuse box so you have your fuses and your breaker boxes right there. I'd recommend getting some extra fuses and just carrying them with you. So if a fuse does blow, you just have the capability to just take it out of the drawer and just put it right in there and not have to run to town. Here's where you have your bathroom. What I like about this, and if you've got kids, especially young kids, I have a young little two-year-old grandson, so he doesn't like to take a shower as of yet. But you'll notice we have a bathtub right here. 
so you can fill it up after they go out explore the dirt digging in the dirt whatever it may be like i looked over my grandson the other day and he happened to be eating dirt i'm not real sure why but we can bring them in right here and get them all cleaned up for you then you have your shower head right here you do have the skylight right here so you have plenty of room to stand in there <clears throat> place you can keep your soap right here you have your foot flush for your stool right here this is where you can turn your light off and on right here then you do have the fan right here which does have three different speeds on it so that way you can open it up and then that way too if it's not too hot and you don't have your air conditioner on turn this fan on and that'll help bring the air in from the outside and circulate it all throughout the coach here you have your medicine cabinet you have your bathroom sink right here then also you have your some more storage in here two more plugs in the bathroom for you as well Okay, so we've kind of shown you just a little bit about everything. Let me tell you, on the entire interior height on here, you are six feet, six inches on interior height. So you've got plenty of room, unless you're a basketball player or a little bit taller. Fortunately for myself and Mr. Cameraman, we don't have to worry about hitting the ceiling here. Okay, so listen, we're M60 RV. We're in Jones, Michigan. You can come see us on our website at m60rv.com give us any questions or if you have any questions about a particular unit and you would like for us to go and do a quick video to send to you we'd be more than happy to do that we have a great saying here it's where we like to tell you, you come in as strangers and you leave as friends we're just a small family-run business you're not a number to us you're actually mr and mrs cameraman or mr and mrs rv whisperer okay so if you're still here and you're still watching, we really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please go to our website, m60rv.com. Give us any questions. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And we look forward to seeing you out here. Thank you. Okay, I also wanted to just take a minute, probably here at the end of the video, I forgot to mention it during, but this is one of the accessories that we offer. As opposed to using a piece of wood or whatever it is to put underneath your jack, we have what they call the Anderson Trailer Jack Block. It gives you a nice, easy way, so when you're coming in, you're about ready to take it off your truck, just grab this, put it right underneath here, and that way it's going to support your trailer, you don't have to worry about it digging into the ground, or if you have soft ground, which as an RV dealer, we have noticed when we've had things set on the ground, it's where the tums will go down into the ground, okay? <laughs> when you have a trailer, it's about this far off of the ground because you got wet ground. That's going to prevent that from happening, so it's a nice little accessory. So just some other things, if you need any accessories in your RV after you get it, we have them all here. We can get any parts for you, whatever it is you need.